What's going on, family? Urban Gun Reviews, and today on the channel, I'm bring, bringing you episode 10 of Is It Worth the Break? Yeah. And the gun that we're talking about today is the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 pistol. Oh, yeah. I got one of the motherfuckers. All right. So that's what we talk about today, you dick. And um <clears throat> give you a little backstory as i do all the time i do this i do this but i wanted one of these <clears throat> looked it up for a while and i got one all right i paid like a thousand and some change for it and um you know we're gonna we're gonna talk about it and see if it's worth the bread today so uh it's made by cz and uh they come with two 10 round two 20 round mags my bad and um i bought 35 round mags so i got about 10 of these 35 round mags really cheap not expensive i forget what the actual ticket on them was but they're not expensive at all uh and i figured i'd buy 35 round mags instead of the 20 round mags 20 round mags a little shorter of course but i just like the 35 round mags better they fit um I don't, who who makes these? I forget the actual company that makes them. P Mag, so they mag pull joints. They run fine. I never had no issues out of them or nothing like that. Really fun platform to shoot. Really fun. I love it. I love shooting this thing. Um, I'll go over what I got on mine and why I got it and all that other stuff. Um, if you want to watch my unboxing video i do have an unboxing video of that i'll put it in one of these little little corners or something like that also i have a full review on one of these on this if you want to see the full review i'll put that up there too you can check those out as well um let me give you the description of it and then we'll, we'll check out some pictures and stuff too uh description says finally available for public consumption is the much anticipated scorpion sub gun Imported as a pistol, it is a blowback operated semi-automatic, semi-auto and nine millimeter with a short seven and three quarters barrel. Open sights ride on an 11 inch Picatinny rail, perfect for mounting optics. Started in 2016, uh, Scorpion pistols feature uh, a half inch by <clears throat> 28, 28 threads hidden underneath the factory flash hider meaning users can fit either a half inch by 28 or 18 by one accessories to the muzzle also added is a qd sling swivel uh did i say that right sling swivel pocket integrated into the rear sling attachment point simple and reliable the scorpion not only has ambidextrous controls it's a, a non-reciprocating charging handle is swappable and reach to the trigger is adjustable with a wealth of accessories and attachments available for the scorpion platforms customization can easily be done with a number of braces grips four ends magazines safeties mag releases charging handles and triggers designed specifically for the evo 3 platform i'm gonna say my mama said specifically my mama say uh, she would be like designed specifically for the Evo 3 platform. I'm like, mom, it, it, it's not specifically that that's the ocean. The Pacific is the ocean. But the most impressive stat on the Scorpion pistol is the price tag. Current production Scorpion pistols lack the three uh, quarter slingshot on slot on the left side of the action that is present on earlier variants. The CZO, uh, CZO, CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1 pistol is legally classified by the ATF as a pistol and is intended by, U, by CZ USA to be used as a pistol. Under current federal law and ATF policy, attaching a stock to this pistol or attaching a device which is then used as a stock or intended to be used as a stock constitutes the making of a short barrel rifle which requires registration with the atf and the payment of an applicable uh tax which is the tax stamp um users of the cz scorpion evo 3s1 pistol bear the sole responsibility for ensuring their pistol their use of their firearm complies with all local state and federal firearms licenses um 
this is all the stuff over here. It's chambered in nine millimeter, uh, 10 plus one magazine. You get two of those. I bought the 35 round magazines, polymer magazine, uh, fiber reinforced polymer frame, uh, polymer grips, single action trigger, adjustable sights, cold hammer forged, uh, barrel, barrel length of 7.72, uh, ambidextrous thumb safety, and all of that other stuff. All right. So let's check out some pictures real quick. This is the pictures that they have for it. They do have it in a couple different flavors. They got it in black, uh, FDE. They got it in gray and like an OD green, I believe. That's the only colors I, I can think of right now. Um, there might be more. I can't uh, really call it right now. Uh, lots of stuff on here. Um, but let me see if I can click it. Let me, let me get the gray one because I got the gray one. Hold on. All right, we got the gray one. All right, so this is your sights, your front and your rear sight. This is where you attach your um your uh oh, shit. Yeah, this is where you attach your um I can't think of the name of it right now. Your brace. I'm folding, boy. It's like five in the morning. That's where you attach your brace. This is your ambidextrous safety. This is your pistol grip, your trigger, trigger guard. Uh, this is your mag release. This is your mag. This is your ejection port. This is a uh, where you can connect a, um, uh, a sling or something. And there, this is your charging handle, which is uh, non-reciprocating. And what that means is that when you're, uh, you shoot it, the charging handle won't like slide back and forth. So you won't have to worry about it hitting your hand or getting jammed up or something like that. It stays in the same spot. It will not come back and forth. Um, it is reversible, so you can change it out for left-handed use if you uh, want that, or right-handed use, or you know you can have it on both sides. I think I've seen that too. Um, accessory rails on the top, accessory rail on the right, left, and the bottom is your uh, forward hand grip. And this is your threaded. Um, barrel or muzzle or whatever the hell they want to call it and stuff like that all right so that's the pictures of it let me show you mine mine i did a little i did a little little upgrades on it you know so um on this the foregrip i mean the, uh the attachments on the on the side the accessory rails i covered those up with some uh utg uh rails rail covers i used those um, I got a, a Sig Romeo uh, 5 on here, which I think is, is a must. You have to, not this particular one, you don't have to get this one, but it's a must you get a, 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 you know, a sight on here. These sights on here are, are, are dope, though. They work with no issues. I never had an issue with these sight. Uh, straight out the box, they, they were reliable and accurate. So these sights on here were super dope. Um... What we got? What we got? Hold on. Let's finish this out. Uh, the mag release. I, I changed it out from that one that they had on here. I wasn't really feeling uh, this mag release that was on here. I wasn't, really wasn't feeling that one. So I went with this one. I like the red accents. Uh, so I went with the red mag release. You just push it forward and uh, it, it'll drop your mag. Then I went with the red trigger as well. This trigger on here is super, super dope. Um, the original trigger that's on there is, is stiff. It's heavy. It's stiff. I didn't like it, so I, I swapped that out. Um, same with the the, uh, the the pistol grip. That this grip is trash. It's trash, trash, trash. I didn't like the the angle of it. The angle of it is weird, and uh, the texture. The texture was like hard polymer, and and I didn't like the texture of it at all. So I swapped this out. Got a new um, got a new uh, pistol grip on there the uh, safety switch on here is ambidextrous so it's on both sides and what i did i got a safety delete kit so my i deleted it off the right side of the gun and now it's only on one side so i didn't think that i didn't really need it on both sides so i just put it on the one side got rid of the other one also i changed out the charging handle that was on here uh nothing was wrong with it i just didn't like it and i, I just went with a red one and now it's you know, I can charge it from the left side. I can also put this on the right side if I needed to and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm going to keep it where it is, actually, honestly, because that's where I like it. And the brace that I put on here is a, uh, a SB uh, brace. Um, I think I put a, a trigger 
kit spring on here too to lighten the trigger because the trigger was really heavy so i put that spring in there to uh lighten it as well and this is what it looks like with the uh the uh 35 round mag in there all right so that's what it looks like with that in there Let me take that out make sure it's still clear. we good yeah so that's my my actual evo and like i said i love the evo i think the platform is super dope and stuff like that um let's jump into gun broker the price they had on there i told you it was like a thousand dollars i paid for mine and <clears throat> the prices <clears throat> excuse me right around the same for here is looking at 1100 1100 uh 997 about a thousand dollars excuse me thousand dollars so they, they they up there you know it's, it's not like you know not major like i said remember i told you the mags was, was nicely priced 35 round mags mag pool mags 35 rounds 17 18 bucks 18 bucks i got like 10 of these mags bro like for real i, I take the i take all my mags to the range I, I reload maybe like two times if that you know what I mean? With just all the mags that I got. I, I could shoot this this the Evo Scorpion all day. I could shoot the Scorpion all day. My kids love shooting the Scorpion. It's just a super, super dope platform to have. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? What else? Alright, so we're gonna get all gun broken. We're gonna wrap this up pretty soon. Uh we got Grand Thumb, who did a uh, a review on it. Um, guns and ammo on this outlaw. I don't know who Nightwood Guns is. He's doing some crazy shit on there, boy. Damn. What's he doing? He doing crazy shit. Um, everyday gun guy, never heard of him. Coleon. Oh, that's not Coleon. I thought I could have sworn that was Coleon right there. Damn, that's a white guy. Um 1911 Syndicate. Uh my man Hickok again. Classic firearms. Um, there you go. Um, Coleon, uh, Hickok again. Tons of tons of videos on there. So you're gonna find tons of videos on the Scorpion. My my, you know, my video didn't make it up there, but tons of guns on the Scorpion. Um, so you you're not gonna run out of material to look at. You're not gonna look, run out of videos. Oh, look at that! Look at that there, boy. Is me in that four kizzle got that four kizzle out there. Uh, my first thoughts on the scorpion and, and shit like that. All right, so let's jump back into this. So now my answer to the question is, is it worth the break? Yeah. All right. So is the Evo Scorpion worth the bread? And I'm a, I'm a y'all not gonna like this answer. I'm going to say yes and no, all right? Yes and no. Yes, because it's fun as fuck to shoot. It's a backpack gun. It folds. Fold that up. Throw it in your backpack. You can carry this wherever you want to go. Love it. The foldability, the everything on it, uh, out the box, accuracy with the sights, the look of it, the feel of it, it's super super dope super dope um i love this gun i love it i would recommend you should shoot one of these you should shoot one of these it's a pcc pistol caliber carbine and uh, is it the best no i don't think so i haven't shot all but it's not the best not like an mp5 or some shit like that you know where they're probably you know the next tier up but it's a good ass gun it's a good ass gun. That's the good. <clears throat> the bad, you see all the accessories I put on here? I did that for a reason. All right? I did that for a reason. Now, out the box, you're getting an awesome gun. But it ain't perfect. It ain't perfect. Meaning, like the upgrades that I did, the trigger upgrade was probably the most uh necessary upgrade the trigger upgrade necessary 100 percent necessary as well as the pistol grip upgrade 100 percent necessary the trigger spring kit 
hundred percent necessary because the trigger was heavy as fuck. Heavy. Heavy. Trigger was heavy. Trigger was gritty. Not nice. Pistol grit was nasty. Trash. So that's why I say it's kind of like a yes and a no thing. This gun, I don't even think is California compliant. So if you wanted this and you lived in, in the in the communist state of California, I don't even think you can have this just because it doesn't come in a 10 round variant. Right. Uh, the stock is a must. You, I mean, the brace is a must. You must get a brace for this. Because if you don't, it's it's not as accurate because you're you're holding it like this. And yes, you can get some type of accuracy, but it's it's still moving. It's still wobbly, wobble, wobble, shake, shake. It's all of that, all of that. So, um, without these accessories, I don't know if I'd have this much fun with this gun. It's a lovely gun. But I don't know if I will love it as much. I said that in my review, I believe. I don't know if I love it this much. Um, to change out the trigger and all of that stuff, it took me about an hour, 40 minutes to an hour to do it because I've never done it before. But it's doable. It's easy. It, you know, if I've never done it, you can do it. Um, tons of accessories, mags, um, uh, rail accessories, uh, you know, uh, red dots or... Romeo cigs and shit like that handles all like tons of accessories so when it comes to to adding stuff or looking for something you'll find it there's a market a big ass market for accessories when it comes to this 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 pistol um like I said out the box it's a good gun but I think the accessories that I did the the the, the stuff that I added made it great so if you're not willing to put, I think I spent like another, what was it, 500 bucks in accessories, you know, and, and I'm probably done. I don't think I'll do anything else to this. Um, I don't think there's really anything else that I want to do to it. Maybe put a, a, a silencer or something on there, but a, a can, a suppressor, you know, because y'all be out there, y'all be on them terms. Like he said, a silencer whatever but um yeah so out the box it's a good gun the accessories made it great so that's why i say it's it's kind of a yes and a no thing if you're not willing to put the money into it i don't think that you'll have the experience that i had i don't think that you'll think it's a great gun you'll think it's just a good gun there's other pccs that you could probably get out the box that'll just have give you a great experience all right but this, to me, gave me a great experience with the accessories that I added on to it. So that's why I say it's, it's a 50-50 if it's worth the bread or not. Um, but I love it. I'm, I, this is not a regret buy for me. I love it. I'm 110% happy with the purchase. And I love shooting it. Like I said, I don't know if I said that enough. I love shooting this gun. It's my backpack joint. I throw it in there and and I love it too. Let me let me say this so before I get you out of here. I love it too because of the platform. It's a nine millimeter. So I, I carry, you know, uh hold on. You know, I carry my my SIG, you know, I might have my my SIG P320 out there, the M18. And then I might have my my CZ P10C out there. I might have my SIG um my sig p365 xl all running nine mil so therefore my ammo is interchangeable so if i run out of of uh, ammo in my nine mil or something like that one of one of my handguns i can pull this out and it runs the same ammo so that's something that i look into i don't know if everybody do that but that's something that i think is super dope and that's another reason why i like this but that's the end of this video, man. Uh, is it worth the bread? I'm going to say yes. Fuck it. It's worth it. It's worth the bread. All right. So if you're looking for one of these, you should probably grab one. Uh, watch my videos. Watch other videos. Do your homework. Do your research before you go and buy anything. 
off of somebody else's words or something like that do your research but um urban gun reviews you like this video or you just enjoy my content you can let me know by clicking the thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel you can do it by clicking on my logo on the bottom right hand corner of your screen if you're not following me on all social media sites all that information is in the description and as always gun family stay blessed stay strapped